Ten. We did it. Ah, we did it. Ah, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> It only took forever and a day, but we have to encounter his flying vigilance indestructible. He is godly. This video is going to start out a little different uh, than normal. Eh, not too different. Well, I'm not going to show you the deck yet because what I'm going to do is get into a match and then I just straight record for like about an hour. Every game, any tweaks I make to the deck, just so you guys get an idea like how I go about building, you know. About, about constructing a deck, where I think I should take stuff out, what cards need to go, what I could bring in, my crazy thoughts of removing this good card and swapping it for something else. Or maybe this card's not doing enough for me, so I make some tweaks to the deck. You're going to see all that, and you're going to see it all in a row. There's not going to be any breaks or pauses. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. This is a really fun one. Clerics, baby. Check this out. And I want to hear your thoughts. What changes would you have made? Let me know. Enjoy Ah, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I had to make sure. I had to make sure. Oh, no, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we can play stuff. Um, Oof. Eh? I, I was really tempted to go Luminar just to grow it, but we'll see how it plays. Field of Ruin. Valky early on taking my Luminarch. Oh, maybe Vanishing Verse, probably. Oh, jerk. Yeah, because if you don't take Vanishing Verse, we're going to kill you with Vanishing Verse. Okay, we're just going to kill you with Vanishing Verse. Didn't want to have to do that. Wait, is that considered... Oh, is that considered multicolor because it has that... No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay. Doesn't do much for us. <laughs> but at least we got rid of Valky. Put into exile. Never to return again. We need voice out, man. We need to start building our team. Between voice and cleric, we get a little silly. Tempted to drop cleric first for his removal. So if you want to kill Cleric, you can take out Cleric first and then get your boys. This dude's twitching. <sighs> One more land would have been great there. Would have had some big things going about. Bing. Yellow. Still sluggish. You got red in that deck somewhere, hey mate? Mm -hmm. yeah, we could have basically emptied our hand almost if we would have hit another land. Well, by the next turn. He's learning. Grabbing an exile spell. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, take out Cleric of Life's Bond. See how much I care. Uh, we do have a little bit of an issue, though, because if, if we attack him, he can just kill our veteran. I think he thought he was going to get, like, a trigger off of that. But he exiled it. Not sure he's aware of that. Okay, look at that. Look at all this. All right, let's 
uh, let's build up the squad, as they say. Hey, you might have massacre. We'll see. The the meat hook massacre. Now let's get you bigger. There you go. You gonna do a little loving there, huh? McLovin. We have reserves. Tempted to play you right now, so if he goes after voice, we could protect it. Not protect it, but oh, okay, just just kill my whole squad, player. Kill my whole squad. Um, this could wrap the game up though, just by playing you. Let's see if you get. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh. Yeah, now we're kind of nervous. I was fearing the meat hooks too, so. <clears throat> oh, he's not big. Well, oh yeah, wait. Oh, let's draw a card. All these tokens, man. Thought it was a uh, treasure, but it's not. Is it one of the blood tokens? It's a clue? You get a clue token? So many tokens. So many tokens poking. Okay. Dude just got a crap ton of removal in his build, I suppose. We're getting close to being able to play that. If we play everything right now, he can just massacre it all. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna play Meat Hook Massacre here. Yeah, that was too easy for him. Give it a life gain. Hooray, give it two. Shadow. Nice. We should probably start beating him down or a 3-4. Maybe. What do you oh you can still you can still do another one. Down to nine. I like that. He's like, I just come out, smack you, and run away. <laughs> Could play Luminarch and then put a counter on my dragon. Oh, that's, that's rubbish there, huh? That's a sorcery, which is good. A second meat hook is devastating. We could really start growing. We, we can double down on this and make our dragon big. I'm just going to do it. No, I guess we can. Oh, that was stupid. Should not have done that at all. Should not have done that at all. We have nothing to take that card out for good. That was a dumb play, what we just did there. But I guess it'll force him to use uh, some removal. And when he does, then we can bring out another threat. Um, that's good. That, that'll do. I almost ran Meat Hook Massacre in my build. 
but I had a, like I just thought it would be like it would devastate us too much. Even though sometimes we do want to sacrifice or like have one of our creatures die, like it wouldn't hurt too much. Ah, uh, we do want you, but man, he's gonna kill you right away, boy. Oh, I need that gun, man. Playing you is not even worth it. That's a problem, man. Ugh. Where's our other cave of the Frost Dragon at? That's a lot of cards, bro. I don't want to play anything until he, like, deals with this. He has done it. But now we got the meat hook still chilling there. And he's got that to close us out. Crap, man. Yeah, there ain't nothing with you here. I could have done that the other way around to gain life. Whoops. Yep, you're dead. There comes an, another meat hook. It'd be nice if we could activate this artifact on his turn. Oh, well. He's got big blood on Dude, just running nothing but removal, and then he finishes the game out with, uh... Where is it? That guy. That caught up there. Four. Cannot play both. Go okay, back, Tibby. grinding away at us. Valky up there chilling. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a miracle to come out of this one, fella. I see. Oh, that's of course what we did not want. <laughs> I really should have put a five drop. Like the five drop angel in this deck would be pretty sweet. 
Because right now, we could just sacrifice, boom, drop him. Now we're kind of just going to get beat up slowly to death. I'm almost going to be forced to sack this. Oh, hi. How you doing there, Gilly? Okay. Do how much? Doesn't do how much. You'll just die. Very tempted to aura and start building on righteous. This is a this is a bad uh, bad field we got here. Three cards in hand. Man, they gotta be like... I'm, I'm afraid of what he has. <laughs> okay, not afraid of that. Oh, oh, look at that. You're gonna die immediately. <laughs> uh, you're gonna die immediately. It'll make him have to attack us. Can I bring back anything sweet over here? Luminarch. I really want Soren out, but man, he's got so much crap now. Soren just dies. Oh, man. <sighs> Whatever. Nothing has changed for us. <laughs> Nothing has changed for us. He's going all out attack on Zoran though. Why don't you have Death Touch? They should have given you Death Touch as well, man. Must protect. Smart. Keep it alive. Of course. Um, you really like how I put in your hand if you do, you lose life he goes okay. I mean, yeah, I guess we might as well put it in our hands. Not exactly what we want, a bear pal. Decisions. I mean, this wouldn't really help. Maybe he's got something that we should be afraid of. Maybe. Yeah. Not gonna do anything, though. He's gonna board wipe us again. We're screwed. <laughs> we are screwed. Nothing else is gonna help us here. We're just gonna take the the massacre. Four. 
One, two, three, four. It's got enough to clear the entire board. If he does that, it doesn't send an exile, does it? No. So if he does that, we will get a nice amount of stuff back here. We'll get, well, we get Luminarch back, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> we get Luminarch back on the field, and we still have Soren. If he goes that route. He's going to clear the board no matter what. Maybe I just don't I, I just don't block and force him to use massacre. But we could block with like this guy. Just to gain the life. And then force him to use massacre. Goodbye board, goodbye board, holy triggers for days. And then we yeah, we're just gonna get a sick little board here. Massacres, huh? <clears throat> Sixteen. This is like a long grinder game. Do we want a sack for anything here? Not really. It would not. It would not benefit us at all. Well. We could sack our Valky. That's he's gonna exile, so that wouldn't help with uh, Aura, because it's exiling, not, not dying. So we gotta wait to see what he does here. I'm tempted to go and get another uh, Valky out by ripping a Pirate, but if we're just growing and he can't deal with all, the, and this is a mess here. Okay. Okay. What what'd you do all that about for? Okay. You're just gonna you're gonna kill it. You're gonna sacrifice your own creature and draw two cards. Yeah, that's good. Sacrifice, draw two cards. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that was, that was good. Wow. I wish I could use this on his turn. Like right here? Yeah. Soren. So Welcome freaking back. I take no Plusing one this time, yeah. My ways are not. And we can save our little soul shatter there, huh? Shrink. 
Wow, what a freaking crazy... I, I don't think I've ever played in a game this long. If I had, it's been a long time, man. It's been a really long time. He's already used three massacres. Yeah, so he could be only running three, but he probably has four. Soren, man, I'd love to see Soren ultimate. So much for that. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Soren. We've been trying to keep you on the field, buddy, but you know, you just don't stick around very long. Um, I know we have Pyre, but I don't even know what to go and grab to make it worthy. This flashback thing, dude. It's annoying. Down goes Pyrant. And uh, not having our little dragon land hurts too. Well, look at tag team over here, huh? I think at this point we we like sack, dude. We we gotta go get something else. Okay, righteous, do your thing. At least something happens with you. Not sure how much, but at least we have a flyer now. Ugh. <laughs> we could make him sacrifice that. Oh no, we got two. You got a flyer, we got a flyer, we got a flyer. This game is nuts, man. 25 minutes in, holy crap. Yeah. Doing big things, baby. Give me that life gain. Ooh, you like that? Um. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sweet. All right, down to 10, up to 11. Um, we could sack you to bring back. Nope, maybe not, we don't have him anymore. Okay, never mind that. A sacking would be pointless. Yeah, I think we finally got him. This was a really a really cool game though. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's gonna wrap it up pretty soon here. Twink. We must have another meat hook because he's still hanging in there, you know? Now, I could go and sacrifice voice after this. No, there's no point to do all that silliness. The lifelink's going to keep growing, boys. He's got one last turn remaining to, to get a massacre. And if he does not, that's, that's it. So let's keep it going. I guess whatever you can. Soren helped. I think Soren was a nice clutch. I mean, getting the flyer out, you know. A little life link, a little life game. Okay, that's game. Yeah, good game. I'm not, I'm not going to do the last part there. That was a really, that was a good game. I mean, holy crap. 28 minutes in. If you watched all this, man, say, I can't believe it's not butter. Wow. That was cool. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um... Yeah. Look, I mean, we were, like, down to barely any cards left. What do you have? 23 in the library. Hey, 26. Soren helps us get some card draw. Uh, without without Aura, we would for sure would have lost. I may want to throw one 5 drop in, so if we get two Auras, we just go and sack, you know, for the other, uh, for the other guy. 
Let's take a look at what all they offer there in five drop range. Journey with me, fellas. It's a learning experience. Ladies, I know. For my 4% female audience who enjoys my videos, skedding, skedding, skedish. Thanks for watching. If you are a lady actually watching this, I'd like to hear from you. I'm lonely. No, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. No, I, I'm just curious how many uh, ladies actually do watch. I know I had a few on uh, my one fan page on Facebook. Um, there was a couple girls that said, make another arena video. So make more arena gameplay. And that's nice to hear that you guys like that. All right. So Soul Shatter is pretty legit. Vanishing Verse is cool. I think we need that five drop that just does something cray. So we're going to do this. Um, we're going to go to Creature. Uh, five. It, we want exactly five. And I did not collect it as well. Okay. So here's what we have to offer. Here's what they have to offer. So I told will be reduced to zero. Last and set transform. Comes three. And then during it, it transform. Okay. Yeah, that's not really that great. Cool card, do. Something that would be impactful at five drop. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each gain that much life at the beginning of your end step. If you have at least 15 life more than your starting life total, each player, Angel of Destiny, attacks this turn and loses the game. Yeah, that could be one way to close her out. Let's see what other options. Vampire Cleric. That, this is not a bad option either. I kind of want something that can deal with an opponent's creature. You know? Or deal with something when it hits the field. If you cast, if you cast it, return up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. That would not be too amazing for us because we're not trying to cast it. Um. Yeah, what option? What options are out there in this? Create two, two, two black zombie. Nope. Pay three life. Return a graveyard to your hand. If you were a cleric, that'd be kind of cool. For all the triggers. All right. So not really too much on this page that like really stands out. We're not really casting two spells at a time. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mo wait, hold on. How's um, I can try I'm using this right? Shares a creature type with the sacrificed creature, so it's gonna have to be a cleric. What else is you cleric? Uh, core that stinks. Let's see what core nothing in there. Cleric wise, I guess Angel of Destiny is really it. Uh, Andrana. Drana, It'd be funny to be able to smack one of these down. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Angel of Destiny, flying double strike, or Drana, the last blood chief. I kind of like Drana. Yeah, I guess we go with Drana. Right? I mean, Angel of Destiny is cool too. I, I like Drana. You know what else? Elite Spellbinder is not really doing it. He's great aggro. But after that, he just kind of sucks. He gives us information, but maybe we just want something where we can see what our, what our opponent's doing, you know? Maybe we want to see what they're doing and get him to discard. So instead of running that, Maybe we get something that just gets our opponent to discard. That's not really doing too much. No rogue. Revealing, uh, during what reveal you may choose a non land card from if you do that, player discards that card, then draws a card. If it didn't have that drawback on there of them drawing a card, that'd be pretty cool. 
Oh, um, I mean, a simple little duress or something, you know. Could easily run that up in there, but not doing enough, I don't think. Inscription? That's kind of, we don't really get a whole lot of manas in this. I do like this, but remember, we also are going to need clerics in our build. That's not doing enough. Discard a card. Regain the U.S. combat damage to the player. Put that many plus one, plus one counters. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a good vampire, honestly. I don't know why. I mean, it's a five drop, though. It gets bigger. Maybe we just run Returgrid. Very tempted. Humiliate's not too bad. Not too, too bad. All part of, like, the, the whole process here. You know, like, what? Oh, what do we really want to do here? Uh, deck of many things. Uh, that does not do anything for us. Okay. So, options to replace Elite Spellbinder. Let's check out Cleric. Is there any cleric we could throw in here? I do want to have them discard, though. Like, disruption is important. This is a cool card, too. But it's not disrupting them, is it? Maybe we should just go with a cleric that makes them discard. This isn't bad. Selfless uh, Glyph Weaver is kind of cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, they start sweeping us. I really would like to get information on our opponent, though. And I don't know what all can do that. If there was a great card that just comes in, disrupts our opponent's hand... You know? <sighs> Jaren, you're silly. Uh, when Koma's faithful dies, each player mills three cards now. Okay, so cleric, and can we use like the, the word discard? Wow, that's it. So I guess we're looking at you. You're not doing enough for us, though. And how many creatures are we running? I'm just trying to balance everything. 29. I'd hate to cut down on our creatures, man. So it's almost like we have to replace. Let's just look for, I guess, any creature that would cause our opponent to discard. I'm not going to be running a lot of Planeswalkers. Okay, 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 okay. Eh. Meh. Werewolf. Whenever we're going to return to battlefield attacks, except the one target card from a graveyard. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It's almost like we just run Turgrid up in here, but... I don't know. A lot of people running Sacrifice crap. Maybe we go a couple Turgrid. Turgrid. 
Just get rid of Spellbinder. How many clerics do we have then? We still have 25. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, you know, Jorana can come back like that. Or we can only go retrieve Jorana with uh, sacrificing Aura if it happened. So I guess what, that, and then we run one more land, because it does sometimes seem like we're a little shy on lands. I guess, yeah, run it like that, see what happens, watch us get blown out. All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> we're going to run right up into this one. No breaks, no breaks, no breaks, guys. No breaks. Oh, yeah. I feel good lately. Um, you know, I had a I had a rough rough spot uh, with my uncle and everything, but that's gonna that that's not gonna go away. You know, that's gonna hurt for a long time. Um, I mean, time they say heals all, but man, he was he was an amazing dude. You know. His family loved him. We all we all loved him. His wife was amazing. He was an amazing person. His wife is amazing. She's still alive. Um, it's really sad, man. Really sad. I'll be. I'll probably talk about it in a couple more videos, and then I know you guys are gonna get sick of hearing it. But it's part of life. Death. Death is part of life, man. It is what it is. Oh, look at this crap. That's how you lose a game. <laughs> All right, so we didn't get the most OPs. Uh, I wish we knew what our opponent was running. I'm going to have to get rid of this just because of uncertainty. <clears throat> ah, whatever. Let's see how it goes. Two Voice of the Blessed is great without any uh, life gain shop OP. Okay, I play you, and then we go with Voice. Point running werewolves most likely. Wow, I didn't see that coming, Billy. Cool. That's really, really, actually, what we wanted there. Don't help. Swing. 18. So if he's aggro. If he doesn't ever move, if he doesn't deal with Cleric of Life's Bond, dude loses. He has to deal with it, like, right now. You're SOL, pal. You're SOL. Oh, yeah, you are F'd in the A, pal. So we play you first. And then drop voice. Trigger, trigger, trigger. That's sick. I told you, you needed to deal with the threat. You didn't listen, and now you paid the price. The consequences are endless. We got it. That's like an elite hand, especially with no disruption. Yeah. Dude, that, that was sick. And we could just soul shatter just to run up in there and beat him up. Um, what would, what would we lose? He would lose this guy. Let's see what else we draw. But soul shatter is looking pretty solid. Oh wow. Oh boy. You almost want to do this. Oh. If ah, maybe we just soul shatter here and just make a push. Yeah, whatever. He'll lose, uh, yeah. Okay. That worked. 
All right, so the new deck works great. Uh, we didn't use the new card, but what are you going to do? Uh, we'll see um, how it all works out. I like the changes we made at the end. Um, yeah, I, I like the changes I made there. I uh, haven't seen them in effect. <laughs> Uh, I guess let's play one more and see what happens. Not that this deck is going to kick the living crap out of everyone we play, but you never know. All right, here's one more. AK Villa. We'll keep this. Ugh, oh, that one's brutal. Hopefully we get a land. Remember, we did increase our lands. We have 24 lands now. We got 23, so yeah. Hot diggity downs. Voice it is, man. Shrink. I wish you could grow too. You know? It's just not a grow. Oh, I like the art on that second part. I like spirits and stuff. Ghost hunts at Luminox. Pirates. Okay. Does something. We better uh, grow you as well. There you go. Unfortunately, no Soren. Turn four Soren would have been a very impactful play. Without a freaking doubt. I hope he's running clerics also. Cat cleric. Oh, you guys are gonna cast multiple spells and grow and such. Okay. If we tapped like a land to be sweetness. Well, that just got big really quick, huh? The block. Vanishing would really wreck this dude's life. But I think right now we just want to grow a little bit more, you know? Trigger hurt. hurt. Um, yeah, there you go. Now we got Mr. Fly Guy swinging in. Soren can drop next turn, or if he drops like some behemoth on us, we can take it out with vanishing. Fly over your head. Squat up. Gonna have to block him, I guess. That's 14 damage. Do we even care? Well, they have vigilance, I guess. No block. Do not want that. We can vanish dude out of here. We'll see ya. Do you get lifelink at some point? No, it's indestructible. All right, we'll put two on you. We're going to force him to block, or he die. Block or die. Okay, count to three. Now here we just chump block. As, oh, if he has the card that gives him flying, I'll crap my pants. Maul of Skyclaves. He just drops Maul right now. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Because then you get, um, if, well, no, that wouldn't really matter. Sorry, wouldn't really matter, pal. We just aggroed out on this dude. This deck can be really good, like short and long, like like in the beginning and late and mid. It, it's actually I don't know. We'll see. We haven't really been able to benefit from Turgid or anything yet. 
Yeah, good game. Yeah, that that freaking this this card is sick, man. It really freaking is. He could give protection or something. I don't know what he's gonna do. Or trample on over. I don't know what he would do here. We're gonna die no matter what, though. If he did have some trick. Okay, there you go. Twing. A little bit of life. Um, yeah. Spread the love, I guess. Do you have death touch or anything? No. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that and make you wait down. All right, well, there's the deck. We didn't get to see every all the masterfulness, wonderfulness, but we got to see it in action there. And that was pretty exciting. Give me a go again. Maybe go again, huh? Cool. Because we haven't really got to play with the changes. I think adding that land, did, that helped a lot too. Bunch of little silly things along the way, man. Still not seeing any of the new fresh meat yet. But taking out that one cleric seemed to be the way to go. This is a terrible starting hand. Should not have kept this because of all the taps. At least we gotta start playing Lunark, turn two. Protection from what? From werewolves? Okay. We got the combo. I mean, it's not the biggest combo, just a grower, you know, growing kind of, growing kind of things. We got Pyre. We got, like, all the tools we need. Um, don't take Void. He'll take Void. Don't take Void. He'll take Righteous. He's like, ah, you want your Righteous, don't you? Really, we want to play Voice next turn, so don't take Voice. Good for you. Good for you. Yes, yeah, Swamp Dwight, huh? Okay. Yeah, Voice, so we can start growing him. Um, I'm not willing to trade. Not running any werewolves, I don't believe. Any cleric werewolves out there? Have you guys ever come across a cleric werewolf? Let me know. Cleric Werewolf. I wonder if there's any other guys that record, or any other um, YouTubers that were, like, will show their videos or their matches like all in a row. Oh, that's a good one though. It's not a cleric though. We'll show up, um, yeah, like in a row. Like they don't like pause or anything. Oh, we're not hitting any lands. We are getting hosed, bros. We are freaking getting hosed, man. He didn't get another land either though, so that's something. But now he's got a threat in the sky. We have Righteous, which is forever and a day away. We can deal with it if we can get to Soren. We haven't hit any removal yet. This one's kind of brutal. Like, this one's kind of hurting. Because uh, of the land squeeze. But see, he's able to work with an extra land because of uh, Dawnheart Prime. Add one color of any of this cre uh, creature's colors. So, yeah. I'm feeling a little less confident, you could say. You know? Started out really good, but then the lands we hit just... And watch, we hit a land like a tap land right now. These flyers are going to wreck us soon. Yeah, this is not good, man. I guess we can just keep gaining life here. <laughs> That's how we're gonna serve. we're gonna win, maybe. We will see. Those flyers are gonna really kick the crap out of us if we don't start drawing a land. <laughs> um, no attack. We need to we need to fly, guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I know we could do pyre. Well, that's four. Ah, he crippled us. 
We couldn't even get a flyer if we wanted to right now. This one's fun. Affy, Affy Vogel. Affy Vogel. Affy Vogel. Sagarda. We need some darn removal. Only one form of removal would work right now. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... Oh, of course. Isn't that how it works? It, that's life, huh? That's life. Okay. Yeah, this is game over, though. He was able to do a lot with nothing. We're going to gain a lot of life, because all we do is have all of our life gains, but it's not enough. I mean, what else are we going to do? Down to 11. We got a lot of life gain, which is cool. Um, another land would be amazing. A flyer would be great. Ouch. Ouch. He can pay. If he's, he's probably going to pay that. That that actually is really good. That's that's gonna win the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That. Well, wait a minute here. If we draw the right card, nope, we did not. Okay. Well, there, there you go. That's that. There, that's that. Right there, about there. Okay. Did not get the right card. Anything to take this guy out. And we could have won, but we did not hit it, unfortunately. Oh, that one brutal. That one brutal. Yeah, that's brutal. This is cool, but doesn't do it. That stinks. We needed just anything to kill that. But now all the flyers, it's just too much damage. You can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah, good game. Not any removal there. Not hitting any removal kind of made me sad, but oh well. And go figure. Guess what really wrecked us this time? Uh, Elite Spellbinder did do us in there. So the card we took out is the one that hit us good. <laughs> it came in really freaking handy, because, yeah, not being able to get uh, heroes out, not being able to get Valky, also getting mana screwed, you know, it all took its toll. Did he just tap out? If we get removal, you're going to die. Does he just flick me off? <laughs> Is he toying with us? Oh, man. We're just not hitting, huh? Um, you would not do it. Yep, and then he just bullies us, bullies his way in. Just finish the game, man. Like, that's kind of jerky that you're doing that. All we needed was one form of removal, and it was over with. We couldn't get it. Like, when he did that, like, screwing around and stuff, we could have, uh, we could have punished him, man. He could have misplayed or something silly, you know. Oh, it's so game. It's so far over, pal. It's so far over. We have trample on that. Yeah. All right. Well, didn't win that one. 
did not like how how that went though. We we had so many chances to close that game out, but not hitting removal uh, is is what uh, what got us there. Not hitting removal really hurt. I almost want to add one more form, one one more bit of removal. Um, like increasing soul shatter to three. And then dropping Turgrid, one. Let's run it like that. Let's run it like that. <clears throat> Turgrid. We haven't seen ya. Now that we have one copy in the deck, we're gonna like, pull Turgrid left and right. <laughs> Always and for all days. I'm gonna pause it here. <sighs> okay. Interesting. 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 We're going to gain a lot of life, I can tell you that much. With any luck, we can get Cleric down. I mean, yeah. He's a slow grower. Star Pupil. Watch this guy, like, ends up destroying the multiverse and goes up. Remember that card? Stop, people. You know, remember that? <laughs> uh, okay. Oop. Yep. And uh, Luminar here. Whoops. I guess we'll pump up Cleric a little bigger. There you go, pal. Deal with my five monstrosity, toughness, and power. Right now we're looking at just splashing down Pyre, not splashing, but Lunark Veteran. I never take time to like, well I do, but not always appreciate the art. I looked at this card earlier, the Luminous Phantom side, but I like the other side too. That, you got Avison's like thing there? It looks like it. I don't know if that's Avison's thing. Her staff or something? See it from? Look at all these. Look at all that. Okay, no block. I'm just gonna gain too much life for you to do anything about it. Heavy. Okay. It's just too much life thing. Here, I guess I'll make one of you a little bigger. There we go. Swing. Down to nine. That life game was sick this uh this match. Alright, all trained out. Trying to run a training deck. I guess that's not a bad idea. We're just not going to block anything. I think just playing Skyclave is good enough. Maybe not. <laughs> he did kind of get a little big there, huh? Got a little big there. Vanishing is cool. Now we could go get an angel. By sacking one of these two. 
We could go and get another cleric by second one of these. We could just drop aura. And get a to life, like just keep like making you bigger. Kind of a life link and such. Um, I think we're gonna hold up here. Not do anything. Give them the old brick wall. We are in control with our 7-7. Seven, seven. And uh, Lifelink Boy just keeps growing. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. That makes me want to go and get something else. Maybe we get rid of one of the Lunarchs. I really don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Debating what the heck to do. Honestly, do um This is great for growing more and more. Maybe at least get rid of this dude and get another grower. Whatever. Let's see what other options. We get another Luminarch. Voice of the Blast. Uh, yeah. I like you. Yeah. We might be able to see this thing transform, uh, not transform, but get indestructible. If we play our cards right. What are you doing all that, bro? Why are you attacking me? What is going on there? I guess he's just attacking to attack? I don't know. I guess he realized the end is near. You get some triggers, we get some triggers, and everyone gets a trigger. Holy counter trick, man. So many triggers going on here. It's fun. I could... No, that would be stupid if I did that. Never mind. Play this. Uh, I could get another voice. Got six, seven. Um, okay, um, I guess we're gonna take out you <laughs> just to get this indestructible. And then go with, uh... Uh, you. To get the counters on you. <laughs> Ten! We did it! Ah! We did it! Ah! We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> It only took forever and a day, but we have ten counters flying. Vigilance indestructible. He is godly. No one messes with him. Okay. All right. This match is is, is over with. Okay. Yeah. It's full attack. There you go. <laughs> Swing with everything. We got our uh, big boy flying. Vigilance indestructible. Twelve. Twelve. Good luck dealing with him, mate. That felt good. That felt really good. He had a trick up his sleeve, too. Look at that. Perfect zero. GG. -G. All right. That's going to wrap it up um, for today. I'm not sure really what to do. 
as far as, I mean, Elite Spellbinder is a really good card. Don't get me wrong. Um, it, it disrupts, but I don't, I don't know. This, uh, as you saw, we did lose a match with someone running it. They disrupted my hand in a way that really sucked. But when I was running it in some of the other matches, I didn't feel it was doing enough. Uh, I do like having uh, Soren in here for the lifelink and the flying and all that. And the card draw. We need card draw on this deck. It's that simple, guys. It is what it is. Um, Heroes at two, I believe, is good. I mean, going four, I hate to draw stuff we don't need. So, uh, Vanishing Verse, two, Soul Shatter, three, yeah. And uh, once you get cooking, man, stuff just starts a dropping. And if, as long as you get uh, Voice of the Blast, I mean, you know, you get a couple of these dudes, you get a Voice of the Blast out, and it's uh, it's showtime at the Apollo. But what changes would you make? What would you do? Anything? Let me know. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Get out of here and skadoosh. Uh...